Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. I am here in Daytona Beach at the Bucky's. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna get gas because it's the cheapest in the area, although it's still $3.29 a gallon here. It's gonna get a lot cheaper as we go north up into uh, Georgia and Tennessee. But I'm gonna go ahead and top her off because we still got a lot of driving to do. We did get uh, approved for another Bucky's location in Florida, if you didn't hear. That's pretty cool. Um, let see, gas is on that side, so this RV's got the right idea. I think I see a pump right here that could work. So I'm gonna get some gas here, and then uh, we'll get on the road. We'll have some fun up north today. Thanks for joining me, guys. We'll be uploading this video with some Nomad internet. Link below in the video description for unlimited high-speed mobile internet. Get that Nomad Air for super, super fast internet. You can get 10% off your purchase if you use code Nomadic Fanatic in the video description below. Yeah. today guys not quite getting out of florida tonight i'm actually going to be staying at a why are you cutting me off and slamming on the brakes okay we're going to go north a couple hours nice blinker um it, well i will be getting out of florida in this video but not tonight tonight actually we're going to be staying at a really cool harvest house that has kitties yes we're going to go spend the night with kitties at the Kindred Kitten Rescue of Jacksonville. That's where we're headed now to go check in. Alrighty, and as we get into Jacksonville here, um, very little traffic. I mean, we've slowed down a couple times in between, but we're flying through the middle of the day here in Jacksonville, so uh, that's good. It's just, they keep having signs, a lot of these green signs that are referring to Jacksonville, it just says J-A-X. Let's see if it's up here. No, it doesn't say it on any of these ones, but it'll say Jack's Beaches. Reminds me of reminds me of my buddy seeing Jack's written everywhere. But yeah, we're gonna go uh, into the countryside of Jacksonville, not the beachy side. So we're heading next. Here we go. This big green sign. Look to the far left. It says Roosevelt Boulevard, Nass Jack's. Nass Jack's. I miss that little bugger. I really do. But I I love my fuzzy butts, Opie and Tara. And hopefully we'll, we'll be able to see and pet and interact with some rescue kitties today at Kindred Kitten. We'll get there eventually here. All right, we are a half mile away here. This Harvest Host does not have a whole lot of reviews. A lot of people um, pick the ones that are more in the city. Uh, um, and the Harvest Host did tell me that it's a tricky right-hand turn. It's coming. I got a car on my butt. Of course, we should be getting real close here. I believe it's going to be the next driveway. I'm going to put on my blinker and kind of go like this. Hopefully, this guy behind me gets it. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of room to turn here. Perfect. That was easy. Oh, yeah. This is it. Let me get parked where they want me to park and everything, and then uh, maybe we'll go see some kitties. Opie, you about ready to go outside? Tara, are you feeling it? Yeah, maybe we get to meet some kittens today? You want to show off your cat playpen out there, Tara? Ter? Opie dopies, you about ready? Let's go, kitties. Let's get some. Yeah, let's get some fresh airs. Yeah. There we go. It's been a while, guys, huh? We didn't set this up when we were camping for bike week. We did it at the Daytona track. But now you guys can get some exercises, all right, Tara? Ter? Yeah, you hanging out? All right, you guys get some of that energy burned off, okay? All right. Uh, as for the directions, this is where they said they wanted me to park. So I've unhooked Tater Tot, got the awning out. This is the facility here, the cat, re the kitten rescue, which I have not met the hosts yet. I'm not sure if they're here because I don't see any other vehicles here. It's early, it's 1.30. When they're ready, I'm sure they will uh, invite me over there, invite me in there and tell me a little bit about this. It's cool because it's like a, old farmhouse style farm. There's something to be appreciated about the quiet, peaceful countryside. I mean, not that I wouldn't mind hearing some chickens, but 
A little different than the big city in Bike Week, right? These two fuzzy butts have been begging me to go to another race. Another NASCAR race, Tara? You, you want to do another race already? You, got, you kittens are crazy. You, you're, just, you're just too crazy. And, and, and too cute to toot, Opie. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I've enjoyed a lot of different types of harvest hosts around the country for many years, four or five years I think I've been with them. I'm a classic member, it's only my member number is four digits long, as opposed to the new ones I think are six. <laughs> so they have tens of thousands of members now and just more and more hosts are joining harvest hosts to, to bring you in. Uh, it's getting different because it's not as simple as just a brewery or a restaurant. Uh, but the rules in Harvest Host say that, uh, you know, you get to stay here for free, but a family of four, you know, you're supposed to spend $20, it says. At least $20. Now, if, if it's just one person, it, sometimes it's harder to find a way to spend $20. Uh, you know, a family of four, it's easy. You just buy food and drinks or buy a bunch of souvenirs or stuff. At a place like this, like that farm we went to in Illinois, I didn't know what to do, so I just donated 20 bucks to help. And uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, if they have any merchandise to sell, like maybe a cat collar or something, something that where the donations go to helping the kittens here. But of course, I'll find that out later. Uh, right now, <sighs> I'm just really enjoying the, the peacefulness of everything. Don't worry, I already fed the kitties twice today. I'm finally going to sit down and have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mm. Uh, comfort food, man. And some tater chips. Oh, it's kind of windy. It's kind of windy all of a sudden. That breeze feels awesome, though. Oh, loving it. Mm. All right, I put the kitties uh, back in the RV where they're safe so we can uh, walk around. I talked with one of the co-hosts of this uh, place, Marvin, and, and although this is a newer farmhouse out here, uh, they're working two different angles. So they've got the harvest host thing going on for RVs to come stay here. And then they also have an Airbnb. So that building right there is an Airbnb with, with a pool which is actually kind of cool. I want to go see the kitties on the other side. Uh, I haven't met the other co-host for Harvest Host, but I, there are some kitties and there's, there's a good idea. I'm getting I'm thinking here for the, for the future. It's so pretty out here though. This is just such a nice farmhouse. See the net up there. They've got kitties up there on the balcony. You can see a cat tree at the corner right there. Uh, but some of their kittens are also out front here. And this is the piece that I'm most looking at because I love this idea. They built, this is like metal fencing gate, you know, to keep predators out. And then there's a little walk. Look at all the kitties over there in the corner. Can you see them? There's two in that little carrier and then the big gray one right there. That's probably one. There's supposed to be six kitties in here. But yeah, it's a cool little protective case. It lets the kitties be outside. And uh, it reminds me of like a chick chicken hutch type of thing. But yeah, I really, really like it. Hi, kitties. I hope you guys are doing good over there. Okay, you wanna meet my kitties? Probably not. That's a 250 year old oak tree with lots of pretty Spanish moss, even though I learned the, the locals tell me that the Spanish moss to them is just, just a weed. It's, it's an invasive weed and it kills the trees. I didn't know that. I've always gone around as a, I miss the beautiful Spanish moss. And then locals are like, <laughs> to each their own though, right? <laughs> I don't know. And also, I want to mention every harvest host is is different. There there are two different spectrums of what you might get. Sometimes, um, this is on one end of the spectrum. They're just letting me camp out here. They're just giving me my peace and quiet and letting me enjoy, not bo not bothering me. But on the other end, let's say maybe like that Illinois farm that I went to, where they <laughs> they were awesome people. They talked my ear off and they spent every minute from the time I got there until, well then Sean and Jill showed up and we chatted till like 9 p.m. also. And uh, they were, you know, just very talkative, outgoing people. And uh, I didn't spend any time in my RV or with my kitties. I just learned about their farm. And here it's more about me and the kitties just getting a break from the city and enjoying it out here. If something changes, if we do get to go see more kitties inside, I'll let you know. I'm gonna work inside the RV for a little bit on some editing though. Yeah, I, 
I need to go to the beach. So I had some really bad luck in Daytona Beach area finding a spot to physically go to the beach or even park the car in a parking lot with all the parking lots closed. I'm gonna go try a different spot up here at Amelia Island, which is basically right at the bottom half of the Florida Georgia line, right there on the Florida side. So go try this out. All right, we are on Amelia Island. We've got water off to our left, but I don't know. It's, it's a residential area, and I'm going about a half mile down here to where there's supposed to be a public beach access. And we're gonna see if it's open in Florida, a beach. Okay, should be coming up. Should be seeing something. Is it, no, that's a house. Is it right here? It's right here. Come on, yes! Finally! Let me make sure it's actually open. Yeah, it looks like it's open. The state of Florida is surrounded by water. It's surprising that it has been so difficult to find a place to enjoy the beach. I'm just gonna make sure first. If this is open, I may go back and grab a snack or a burger or something, bring it to the water. This is nice. A little boardwalk. Nice little path. And I'm gonna go over some dunes here and possibly see the ocean, the Atlantic. Okay, then the boardwalk switches, transitions to straight sand. Yeah, still no caution tape closing it. Ooh, cactus, nice. And one more little hill right here. And bada bing, bada boom. The beach is open. Oh my gosh, and I'm the only one here. The only one here. A little chilly. I'm gonna grab a snack and a warm jacket. Plop a seat right there. Yeah, got my same parking spot. Got me some yum yums. And we're still gonna make the uh, sunset, even though it's gonna set on the opposite side as the beach. But still, gonna enjoy. I did have to bundle up. It is a cold, cold 72 degrees in Florida. Where did this come from? It's been 90 every day this last 30 days for me. <laughs> I don't care, I'm still ready to leave Florida. I'm ready. One more good day at the, oh my last day. This is literally my last time at a Florida beach. All right, let's enjoy it, Eric. Life is good. Not quite sure that I'm awake yet, but we're getting, I am on my third cup of coffee here, so I'm I'm working it. I've got all the cat stuff put away, awnings put away, tater tots hooked up to the back, put into a neutral drive to tow. Everything should be good. I feel like I'm forgetting something. It's just like it's too early. Let's get my routine done here. There's one last step with towing the smart car, and that is to lock in the second arm because when I put it in reverse, it only gets one usually. I think like one time in my life, both locked up because it was just perfectly straight, but that almost never happens. So, so I got the air conditioning on from yesterday. <laughs> okay. All right, so I turn the headlights on, then we get video footage of Tater Tot. Okay, then we'll put it into drive and we'll go way out to the left and listen. 
That wasn't it. I can see it. It's going to go right now instead. Click. You guys probably didn't hear. It just clicked. Yeah, cool spot. Wish I could have pet more of the kitties. Uh, maybe another time. You know, I understand how things go. And there's no cars coming either direction, so we're good. Just watch out for that trash can right there. And we're golden. Let's go to Georgia. Let's go to Georgia, guys. Yeah. What an incredible winter it's been. But Florida, it is time to part ways. Off to our right here, we got a sign. Thank you for visiting Florida. We sure did. We visited the heck out of Florida. Best winter of my life. Man. But, you know, change is good. And all of a sudden, I'm, I'm really excited about getting back on the road. Even though Florida was awesome, you know? I believe this is the St. Mary's River that we're going over, which means... Which, yep, there's the sign. Welcome to Georgia. Here is the Florida Georgia line. <laughs> that was a good band. You guys hear they broke up? Florida Georgia line broke up. Although, Tyler Hubbard, one of the singers of the band, has started his own solo gig. So it still kind of sounds like Florida Georgia line without the harmony. I, I don't know what happened to that band. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I think there may have been a falling out between them or something, but. Uh, we will, we will never hear any new songs from Florida Georgia Line. That, it's kind of sad. I'm going to hit up this uh, Welcome Center here. Actually, I've been on a Morgan Wallen marathon. Oh my gosh, I love his music. He dropped a new album with like 20 or 30 tracks or something. Morgan Wallen is just, it's, it's, it's my go-to for everything I want to hear. I, man, I'm just, I've been listening up to a lot of his new music. Let's uh, see what we can find here. See what kind of trouble we can get into at the Welcome Center. I believe, I believe it's been it's been a few years, but I think they have a dump station. This road sucks. All right? Truck, travel, trailer, parking, car parking, bus. I'm none of those. I'm an RV. I'm not a trailer. I guess I'm a trailer or a truck today. Okay. That's fine. Uh oh. That's a new sign. What the? You guys see that? Let's go check it out real quick. Good to go, Tater Tot. Got some doggies out stretching their legs. Oh, yeah, these are. These are new. Overnight parking prohibited at the Georgia Welcome Center now. That's strange. Well, you can't overnight park at the Welcome Center. That's new. Let me go ask them. Wait, what the heck is this? Like a, like a nuclear submarine missile? Okay. I don't know what the significance is. Let's go inside and talk to them though. Orky. Georgia, Georgia. Glad I asked. So the staff explained it to me in a way that makes sense. He said uh, they're trying to keep RVs from parking here and then going to explore St. Mary's and Savannah in their car. So that's why they were forced to put up these new signs that say no overnight parking. However, he told me that if I wanted to sleep here overnight, I am allowed. He just doesn't want people to unhook their vehicles and leave an empty RV here unoccupied. But if you are occupying your vehicle and sleeping in your vehicle overnight here, you are still allowed to do that. So we're good. Glad I asked. It looks like I've got some new neighbors now too. So if he asks me if he was thinking about staying, I'll go ahead and let him know what they told me at the office. So yeah, don't even unhook your car or anything. Don't abuse it, guys. We're lucky that we're still allowed, even though they're making changes. So uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close this video out and probably be closer to Savannah in my next video. But also, I have some big, big, 
big plans for this weekend, and I'm very excited about this weekend. Don't forget to hit up my buddy Robert if you need some RV repair. He's got King's Mobile RV Repair. He's going to be in the Kansas City area about April 1st if you need some RV work. He does plumbing, electrical, all kinds of repairs inside the RV. Might even give you an oil change or do a brake job or something on the RV. Hit him up. His number is on the screen right there. Also in the video description below. Gotta have a buddy Robert. We'll see you in a few days.